Hello, I'm Tan the Tan BOTC channel, and today I'm cheating. And by that, I mean, um. My blade is yours. I have a lot of followers. <laughs> the, I have no mods on, by the way. I just uh, found an exploit to get more followers. So, uh, Listen, yeah. It's an honor to stand before you. Okay. I thought you were saying listen, but no, you listener. Okay. I get it. I get it because I'm the listener. At least I won't feel lonely. <laughs> I got Barbus. I found Miko. Uh, I'm going to probably be healing here and there just to make sure he doesn't die. I have Dirk Ethus. I have Serana. I have... This is, I think this is Lucian LeChan. So he's a spectral assassin. You get him for complete, or at least completing a certain part of the Dark Brotherhood questline. You also get a awesome horse, which I do have. But he's, I think he's outside the place somewhere. Just standing guard. <laughs> Darkethos, are you humming again? Dagnabbit, or keep this. So, yeah. I should... Maybe I should be an archer or something. Oh, by the way, this blade is... What is this blade? Chillrend. I remember this blade. Yeah. Oh, it needs to be charged. There we go. Yeah. It's a glass sword. I'm also... I also will be at least most of the Thebes quest line. I still have to do more. But yeah, let's get going. I'm just doing a ton of different side quests. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, that's back to the beginning. So I want to. I actually want to turn around and head one of these directions. Okay, it was just down there. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Of course, I want to go this way. Uh, watch it not lead very far. But there's an enemy. Thank you. Ow, ow, ow. That Draugr is on our side, by the way, because Serana. <laughs> See? Serana's restless Draugr. Matthew Bellamont and the great treachery of Jaden Hall. Kill a boy's mother, and vengeance festers in the sun. Well then. Thank you for that tale. But this is Skyrim, dig. I'll have to go more into another video in depth. I know, on why I think, like, I, the other reason uh, I think Skyrim is better than Oblivion is its guilds, because they're much more enjoyable than the guilds in Oblivion. My friend was playing both Skyrim and Oblivion alongside, and he said he not only can't really get into Oblivion, but uh, it doesn't really have replay value. You can pretty much beat the whole thing and get all the achievements on one playthrough, and he felt like the the guilds compared to Skyrim's were more like a like chores and they were very repetitive do the same thing over and over again and though the Skyrim guilds do that I feel like they're at least a little bit more rewarding and the characters are more like memorable I like the dungeons much more they're not samey like Oblivion's but that's the entirety of Oblivion's dungeons so it goes into basically everything I also don't feel like the threat of the Oblivion Gates as well as the the main villains are as big as like Alduin's made out to be. I still think Alduin felt like a much bigger presence in the game than uh, the villains. I barely even remember the names of the villains to be honest in Oblivion. They were that forgettable. I remember this mage guy that's part of this dark group. 
that opposes the blades and also assassinated the emperor but i i i don't remember like really caring that they were even around or existed they just felt like an annoyance it was like oh no it's those bad guys that are there and you're so close to getting the main guy but so far because he just like teleports away the first time you see the main villain and even then you don't think of him as the main villain <laughs> I feel like too the Dark Brotherhood had a couple of in like a couple of the guilds had some inconsistencies with the stories. Like what Lucian Lachan was saying here actually made uh I got a better understanding of the Oblivion story from what he said in this game rather than what was actually uh played out in the other game in Oblivion itself. Because, um, first off, that that guy uh, wanting revenge for what happened to him just kind of came out of nowhere. It was, like, really sudden. <laughs> and I didn't feel like... There's explanation behind it, but if you're, you're not being very observant, you're going to miss it. I don't even think if you... Uh, you have to be that observant, and you'll still miss it. And then the other jarring part was the part with Lucy and Chan. I, I had a, I felt like he was definitely the betrayer. It was kind of predictable there, that he was the one betraying everyone. But when you like, when you thought you were going to go confront the person, you not only find out it was him, but it was so sudden, and you don't even get really much of a say in uh, what happens to him. It just kind of decides for you. So, th it's pro like little problems like that. Even though I still love the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. Another thing is I felt like the importance of the Dark Brotherhood in this game was much vast. Because you're thinking assassinating the Emperor of Tamriel. It's really hard to beat something like that. But yeah, I'm not saying that the guilds are bad, but I felt like they were repetitive. And a lot of the guilds kind of tie in. As a matter of fact, I found out that the, even the Mage's Guild kind of ties in with some of the characters of, like, the Thieves' Guild and such. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the other thing is, like, the whole chores thing and the repetitive nature. The Mage's Guild in, um... In... Oblivion just felt super monotonous and repetitive. I'm sorry. It really did. It just... And it was the most painful of the guilds. Fighter's Guild... Fighter's Guild's still fine, and I think Morrowind's the best when it comes to the guilds. But, um... In Oblivion, I feel like a, the Fighter's Guild is just in between. It's... Oh, what the crud? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Why'd she bleed? Anyways, um, she's a ghost at the crud, but, um, yeah, it's just like, I feel like, um, and the character models, they, I mean, they're so ugly. <laughs> I just can't stand it. I can't stand it. There's just so many things, and I know there are things that Oblivion definitely does better than Skyrim, but, like, the overall... Of just everything both games have to offer, I still think Skyrim has a vast majority. Matter of fact, whenever somebody talks about, like, uh, straight up Irish once again, talks about how they like Oblivion better or the problems with Skyrim, they always use Skyrim for their videos, and I know it, it's probably it's probably nothing to really think of, but there's kind of a reason why Skyrim still kind of stands up the test of time. <laughs> There's several, there's several reasons actually, but yeah, people always come back to Skyrim, and I don't think it's just because the game is the most polished of the series, but that it's that it's got quite a world and personality, and you can never see everything at once. You're always going to have new things, and uh, even straight up Irish ran into some quests that he's never really experienced the way he has before. And it's just really cool. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I just... Now, once again, Skyrim's not a perfect game, and 
wherever it's the whenever there's flaws to point out there are definitely flaws and I definitely am willing to point them out and what they are and there's quite a few of them <laughs> there are quite a few but it's how the world how you're engaged with the world that just really throws you off of like your overall score and I feel like that's what throws some people off from why they give it like such a high rating I would never give any game a 10 out of 10 even Skyrim but I do think it's like within the 9 or 8 range I wouldn't go lower than an 8 it's just such it's such a hard challenge and I was talking about this with my Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice what the crud is with this I'm usually good at locks this is an expert lock so and I am leveling up for a minute but I don't want to waste too many of my lock picks where is it? Is it like no? Take nap it. Oh, it's down there. Are you serious? No. Oh, that is so weird. Okay, like go a little bit up. There we go. All right. Jeez, that was annoying. Must I level up? Uh, let me see. What do I need to level up? I have a couple of things on too, by the way. Um, do Magicka. Why not? I'm also using and wearing the Night Gale outfit. I don't know if I already said that. I probably did. <laughs> I think I did because I was talking about the Thieves Guild. But yeah, I just Oblivion's just like third place compared to the other Elder Scrolls games. I didn't mention Elder Scrolls Daggerfall or Arena because they have aged poorly in comparison and these games just have more substance to their characters and worlds, more variety. And even though like the big compliment I can give Daggerfall is it has like the largest open world of the bunch, but um, it lacks in other areas like how it's aged and such and it's combat. But yeah, it is like, I think Dagger... It's hard to say. Um, Daggerfall would probably be like fourth place. Um, Arena would be fifth, sadly. <laughs> of course, they they still beat out the other garbage Elder Scrolls like Redguard. Ugh. Why the heck does that even exist? But yeah, um, and I think there was one other Elder Scrolls game, but I forgot the, its name. Um, and I think it beats that out, too. Um, but yeah, and there are some bad Fallout games, like Fallout... Uh, it was Brotherhood of Steel, it didn't even have the name Fallout in it, but you know it's a Fallout game, because of uh, the world and the characters in it. But yeah, it's just one of the worst Fallout games. It's really hard to argue all of these... Elder Scrolls and even Fallout games because they all kind of even out with one another. Now, uh, take take for example. Let me do a couple more side quests here to keep us going. Oh, what's this? Something. Escort. Okay. Um, hopefully he's still with me. But um, yeah, he's. It's um. When you take the Fallout series, there's things about them, too. Like, take Fallout 4, New Vegas, and 3, for example. Uh, they kind of even out with one another. I mean, there's still one. It's more like the, your preference of which one. That's really where it comes from. I'm sure people still prefer other Elder Scrolls like Oblivion. But they all kind of even out with an, one another. The reason I don't... The reason I have the strong opinion about Oblivion is the the whole factor of the choices and the fact that you can just play through the game in one playthrough and see everything there is. I've been looking for you. Hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. You're okay. But in each Fallout game, Let's there's see. something different to each one, one that makes them kind of stand out from the other. New Vegas has um, like a lot of the older oh. developers of the first two Fallouts. It has got it's got a lot of choices and decisions to make. There's just a ton to do. Okay, take your leave of. What? Oh, crud, there's a dragon. Wait. 
There's something right here. I'm ever so grateful. Please give my regard to the rest of the companions. Okay. Alright, so that's done. I think there's a dragon. Okay, but the dragon, I guess, doesn't want to mess with Dawnstar. <laughs> Let's see, Broken God, I'll kill the leader. Ah, okay. Wait. Oh, that's part of the, um... Wow, it's asking me to do that? I haven't even started that quest. That's the one with, uh, Jari Ra. Holy crud, I didn't know there was another quest to that. Interesting, so <laughs> he'd be dead. And then, like, Jari Ra would be all alone. What's this? Ooh, there's a word here. Let's go there. Um, but yeah, um, the big reasons is replay value and just, like, how much Oblivion has to offer. It feels... And there was somebody that my friend was bringing out that described Skyrim and Morrowind being, like, diamonds. Like, hidden, uh, gems. And, um... I can't remember how he described Oblivion exactly, but always taught to avoid these that it was it was just a just a very Lord mediocre. Me, okay. Here you go. Whoa! Forgot I rocketed you up. But um. It is time for my splendor to return to Scotland. Yeah, he described it as just, like, having the illusion of more content. A lot of content, or more content. And my friend could kind of get what he meant by that, the more he played the game. Oh, guy. Can I, um... Can... Can... Can you let me down? The necromancer Malkara defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping. Lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his I'll be deal. doing the Daedra quests, by the way, too. I'll be doing Worse all of them. Him, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. Okay. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, I mean, you could argue the same thing as Skyrim with the illusion of more content, but I do feel like it literally, like, it has substance to its con- its more content, at least, and variety. So that's what, like, really keeps up the more content thing. Because there's also a video I really like that talks about, like, how Morrowind is less is more, and Skyrim is more is less. But I still think they're evenly tied on- on various, uh, elements and- what they have to offer, nonetheless. As well as stuff like age and time that it catches up with some of them, so. Of course you will. I have commanded it. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the Go mic. <laughs> the artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Okay. I'll do that later, though. Malkarin has forced the door shut. But this is my temple, and it I, responds I, to my decree. That uh, help me. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Okay. Ah! I'm fine. All right, but I want the word. <laughs> the bird's the word, am I right? Hi, uh -oh. horsey. Horsey. Oh, oh, it's just right next to it. What that crud? <laughs> Why did I never see it? Yeah, my friend thinks of Oblivion as just kind of generic fantasy, where uh, you got Norse, Nordic, like uh, mythology built world here. That's really cool. It's really cool. 
Hello. And I love, I love its world. It's one of the better worlds out there. And how it, how it goes about everything. It's really cool. All its lore and story, storytelling is just amazing. It's just really cool. They're very interesting. They're not like those really, like, they're more like that of Dark Souls lore and story. Like, speculation and theories you can make similar to how Dark Souls has gone about with the speculations and theories. This is really cool. And just the lore in general is really awesome. Alright, this uh, over here? Yep. Hello? We're keeping the mine closed until that crypt is clear. Okay. Oh, I remember this. I'm going in. Alright. But, uh... Yeah, there's just, um... Oh, I already hear the Draugr. I just think that... Ah, they didn't think they'd be in my face already. Sorry. Is this, uh... Oh, that's Barnabas. Wait, where? What? Oh! Do I get up to you? Oh, oh, up this path, dudes. Up the path. Nope. You deed. You should have thought of not dying. Wait a minute, how do you do this? Whatever. Alright. I haven't got the trophy yet. What the crud? I'm trying for the trophy to get 20 skill books, I think it is. And I still haven't gotten it. How many skill books have I read, though? Let's see. Oh, holy crud. One more. <laughs> Just one more. Awesome. And I get the trophy. <laughs> Hopefully there will be one in one of the quests that I'm doing. I'm a trophy hunter. Alright, are they cleared out? Let me check the map. Uh, there seems to be something... Somewhere else around here. Is there an I didn't see one. Doesn't look like you can go back there. Can I go back here? Excuse me. Ah, uh, oh wait, that's the exit. This way, everybody. Okay. So you dug into Draugr ter- oh, I see it, I see it. You did dra dig into Draugr territory, you idiots. Okay. Somebody fell to their death right here. That's not what I'm doing. And I hear a bunch of... dang. Tombs opening. Oh, I missed. Um, I, I did that. Aha. Hello. Oh, crap. Get him! Who is this? Bobbis. Get him! He did. You barked him to death. He came back down long drop. Whatever. Still Barbus. Good job, Miko. Alright. Oh, this, uh, feels very trap-like. Wait, there's a switch there as well. And a switch there. Um, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Uh, Serana, explain this? Wait, where'd Lucy and Lechan go? Where'd Lucy and Lechan go? 
Did he die? He usually stays alive until he dies. Crot, I think he's dead. Oh, that's the Breton guy. Holy crud, that's creepy. <laughs> Gosh, that... That's a boy. Oh, what the... What was that? Ow. I know you're there. Get the heck away from me. Hopefully, Miko... Yeah, yeah, there's Miko. Here you go, Miko. Hey. Rod. So I got some potions. Oh gosh. So put up my. Yeah, yeah. Everything's going crazy. Here you go, Miko. All right. I'm just making sure he is. Oh, now she's got a different uh, follower. Wait, where's Dirk Keith? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, put your weapon away, Durkithus. Yeah. Oh, another healing potion. Thank you. Yeah, be careful the trap in there. Oh, what the? Serana, you coming in? Yeah, I cheaped this game a little bit by having more followers. <laughs> I mean, it's still stinking Give me a challenge. I almost died right there. <laughs> if I didn't get out my healing potions. Just imagine it on an even harder difficulty. I have it on, like, I guess what this game's equivalent of normal is. Turkey, this is humming. <laughs> These characters feel very lively. There's none of the, like, followers or marriage or anything like that in stinking uh, Oblivion either. Ooh. I don't know if it really needs that stuff, but it's cool that they have it. It's like, extra stuff. I'm dying here, too. See? It can still be tough. Gosh darn. Somebody else helped me. Where, which one's Miko? This is Barbus. Okay. Barbus's attention. Just making sure you're fine, Miko. Get him. Get him. Yeah, get him. Ow. Ow. What the crud is doing that? Where's that coming from? I'm trying to find the red dot on my map. I, oh, it's up there somewhere. What the crud? You okay, Miko? Gonna heal Miko a little bit. Let's go take care of whoever's shooting flames at us. What the heck? It's this thing. What? What? Oh, what the? Miko, get him! Yeah! Did they... Did they stop? They're still glowing. Oh. Huh. Take that just for money. For gold. What did he have on him, Barbus? Nice sword. Interesting. All right. Let's go. Whoa, what the? I know it's an elven blade, but look at that. What the crud? Elven blade of uh, great sword of fear. Stop knocking, stop knocking stuff over. I might need that for, there's a quest for the dude in, um, in, um, the Dragonborn DLC that needs a Briarheart. So I'll just take that for future reference. I'll probably put it in my, uh, chest, though, back at... I was thinking, um... Back at my, uh, stinking house, in Bree, which is Bree's home. I'm stuck. Oh, we're back up here. Interesting. Wow, that shortcut... The shortcuts in these dungeons remind me of Dark Souls as well. So many things to compare. 
they did come out the same year, didn't they? Dark Souls 1? I know, uh, Demon Souls came out in 2009. 2009 and 2011 had some really cool games. 2012 had stuff like Gears of War 3 as well and such. Crypt is clear. <laughs> I cleared it. We were waiting for the Yarl to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. <laughs> now we can get back I to have work. a regiment here. <laughs> Good, day. Good day. Oh my goodness, a thousand dang gold. Uh, oops. <laughs> will soon know the oh, what the crud? You were out here the whole time? Why didn't you come in with us? Whatever. Wait, can I interact with him? I forgot if I could... No, I can't. Okay. Well, he talks still, but yeah. Hello. This is Shadow Mirror, everyone. Stop pushing me, Barbus. Barbus, I'm going to replace you with Miko. Nah, you can still stay with me, but seriously, don't be a jerk. Here's Shadow Mirror. He's awesome, and I'm being pushed by Barbus again. Stop, 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 stop pushing me. Stop it. What's with the blur effect when you're looking at characters, by the way? It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, from what I said before, I still think Skyrim has thing, does things better. Even without, like, ar arguing the point of it's more polished than Oblivion, I still think it does better. It's also the first Elder Scrolls game that I can really stand looking at the art style and the characters without puking because they're ugly. Oblivion. <laughs> you can make some pretty darn ugly looking characters in Oblivion. I mean, it's for laughs and giggles, but do you seriously want to be always laughing at a game for its, for its problems? Skyrim has problems, but at least they're like, sp it has humor too, and it makes, you can make, uh, funny situations of those problems, and they're spaced out just enough that you barely, you pretty much forget them a lot of the time. Like a giant rocketing you to the dang moon or whatever. Oh, we got some wolves. A piece of dang cake. But yeah, it's just like everything about, about Oblivion is kind of ugly. <laughs> and Skyrim can be pretty darn beautiful and colorful. It's gray a lot of the times, yeah. Is, but it's awesome. And it it does it in just such a beautiful way. It makes a gray world look so beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> this is the remaster, but I even think the original still stands out. And there's various reasons, like, why people still... There are tons of people that still play this game, and I'm just amazed by that. On Steam alone. Like, think about the people on the console versions, though. I'm playing the PS4 version, and yes, the PS4 has... has mods, if you're wondering. I can't remember, like, for some reason people were saying PS4 doesn't have mods. Maybe it didn't at launch, but it, it does definitely have mods now. This is Slaughterfish Eggs. Interesting. There must be slaughterfish nearby. Oh, there is. I think they're swimming in the water just right around here somewhere. Oh, crud, what? Oh, it's the Forsworn. You guys gonna come up? Who's this? Oh, Miko! Miko, don't be a hero! Miko! Oh! Oh! And you lay on his body. <laughs> or hers. <laughs> Miko, don't be a hero! Miko, you don't got enough health! You got like 250 or something? I can't remember how much. Miko! Oh my goodness, and you ran into a group of three people! Oh, oh! Oops, why am I healing the bad guy? <laughs> Miko! Oh. 
You go, where are you going? I'm running out of stinking Bajica. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> I went through his butt. Miko's butt. But he did a whore. <laughs> oh, crud. Miko, Miko, Miko. What the crud? No, Miko. Don't be a hero again. Crying out loud. He always goes for the giant groups of enemies. Oh. Wait, where'd, where'd Miko go? Miko? Miko! Oh crud, I think he's going to be a hero up here. Miko! Where's my dog? Where is he? Oh, what the crud? What? What? Where? What, what is going on there? <laughs> what happened? Did you see that? I, did she do that? I was just about to heal too. What the, the crud? The okay, I cleared it out. Okay, is dink? Thank you. All right. Uh, maybe we should avoid that place only because I have no clue what the crud killed me there. I thought I cleared that camp out. I thought I cleared these out. The crud. That's stupid. <laughs> I mean, they probably respawn again, but not in that. Not that many. Jeez. Oh, what the crud is going on in River? Oh, it's this quest. Okay. Okay. I get what's going on. That, that's the one I was thinking of with straight-up Irish, and he was talking about how there were more to this quest. So there's Fen and Fendel's, or Fendel. Is this Return to Vilk? Oh, okay. Alright, let's go do this quest. Anyways, tell me what your favorite Elder Scrolls are. What I was bringing out about Fallout is like every single, each Fallout has something that the other doesn't. Or does something, like, each Fallout does something wrong. Like, take New Vegas, it has great, like, um, I love the different directions you can take and paths you can take in the game. And the different guilds and how you can go about playing them. There's a lot of choices and freedom there. And it's really cool, and it changes a lot of the course and direction and how you play the rest of the game. But then there's other things like the dungeons are just very forgettable compared to Fallout 3. It's another Argonian. You failed us, Argonian. You failed. You got killed by a horse, too. So, that's ultra failure, dink. Actually, horses are pretty darn tough, so I guess it's not quite a failure. But, um... That <laughs> Are you serious, Serana? We're bringing him along? You failed up. That was morbid. <laughs> what the crud did you do? Why? Oh, you had a lockpick on him. Holy crud. Serana, you sick jerk. Why, why didn't you keep him anyways? Seriously, we could have had another follower. We could have made ourselves... Um, is that what I... Oh my... Are you serious? Who's there? <laughs> then again, I think the Argonian guy would have done the same uh, thing. Are you zombies? Gosh darn. Serana. Alright. Take her along with us. Wait, there's enemies up there. And I think that's actually where the quest is. Is it? Oh no, it's right here. But let's go take care of these enemies. Ah! I missed the other person hit the other guy. 
Ow, lightning bolts, are you serious? Holy crud with that. At least I know what's trying to kill me there, your really OP lightning bolts. Jeez. Alright. What? Yeah. Okay. He actually recognized Shadowmere. Shadowmere. Uh, stop it. <laughs> Jeez. But, um, yeah. Fallout New Vegas' dungeons stink, and a lot of the enemies locations are very predictable. It's not as, like, randomized as Fallout 3, or even Fallout 4, where it's like, you could run into any random encounter, and it'll be a... just a new, excellent experience each time. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Wait, do I have anything I can level up, speaking of which? Restoration... Need to level up some of these others. I'll try more into the others. I'm just trying to get st the trophy right now. Besides, I have all the time in the world when you can level up to, th like, what is it, 600? I almost said 300. I don't know why. I don't use a axe, though, or a mace, so... Need to be 80. Should that? Okay. Um. You know what? I might be doing some archery soon, so. Let's put some in that. Because I do want to go to archery at some point. Okay. Go! Oh! Sorry, dude. But your princess is in another casa. What's behind this door? What's behind door number 250? <laughs> Just randomly came up with that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what was that? Hand stamina. Plentiful. Shut up! That's creepy. Stop it and get some help. Oh. I should check out that else that sword I got. I can't taste it. Yeah, yeah, Lucien Lachan. Oh, there's a bunch of like police sirens going on. Yeah, there's a bunch of police. <laughs> Let's see. Um, they're coming for me. Run! <laughs> That would be a weird police and stinking Skyrim, just like not. Wow. Holy crud, those dang police. You heard that, right? Jeez. This thing on loud, too. I, I do have my window open, but dang. My ears are sensitive. No work. Great. So, oh, stop that. Alright. Let's open this. Oh yeah, then Dirk Ethos has a two-handed weapon, by the way. It's got an enchantment on it. Shut up! This is kind of an OP team. I mean, if I had the... that Khajiit from the College of Winterhold, it'd probably be even more broken. As well as if I brought the guy that was my follower in the previous videos, it'd probably be even more broken. <laughs> But I mean, we do have Serana, and she's kind of broken, and Durkithis is pretty awesome, and I hear the Dark Brotherhood Initiate gets pretty OP when you level him up more. <laughs> or the more you level up, so yeah, I'm pretty broken right now. And of course I got two dogs, one that's invincible and one isn't, but uh, Barbus does make up for that. And... Heck, Nabbit Serana. And she does conjure her own followers, too, out of dead bodies and such. And, of course, I can conjure my own followers, both Lucy and Lachan here, and the one of the followers that you can use. Only temporarily, though, but through a shout, which 
is the Call of Valor, and you call one of the Valiants of Sarngard. They will hear your voice and journey beyond space and time to lend aid. But yeah. Shut up. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.